So, if you guys heard about this Kingdom Hearts 4 leak, well, if you don't want to know, please mute me for at least 30 seconds until I do this. And that will signify that I'm talking, stop talking about the leaks. But if you haven't heard about it, starting right now. So, it is said that the release date for Kingdom Hearts 4 will be 2026. Now, they have this very well-known leaker. Uh, I'll put his name right here, for those who don't know. Uh, and he got this information. He threw it out there the day after the Summer Game Fest. A lot of people are disappointed. Um, I can understand the sentiments because they released the, the trailer two years ago and we still haven't heard anything else from it. But at the same time, I think Square Enix is just trying to be careful for the next time they reveal it, they have it at least 60% done and to avoid the mistakes they made for Kingdom Hearts 3. But if you guys can't wait or frustrated to into waiting as a fellow Kingdom Hearts fan that's been in there since the beginning I have five games that I recommend to you to play while you wait for Kingdom Hearts 4 and we're starting with a familiar one Kingdom Hearts well you can replay the same game over with diff different difficulty if you have it on PC, which it's coming on Steam uh, the next few days, it's June 9th right now. It's coming on Steam. There's plenty of mods. You can play the game differently with different character, different looks, and kind of revitalize the game for you if it's getting old. But that's the one I'm starting off with because we. They're having the itch, right? We want some Kingdom Hearts content, but there isn't any. So, until Missing Link comes out, we can replay the old Kingdom Hearts games on Steam. And if you don't have a Steam, you can just replay it on different difficulty, refresh your memory. Yeah, hope it holds you out. It, it helps. The number four that I recommend is Persona series. My favorite is Persona 3. The controversial one is Persona 4, and the one that many got into is Persona 5. Now, I know it's turn-based, but the game itself relies on the connection of others because it gives you strength. And it, that's the whole thing of Kingdom Hearts. You know how Sora is, how my friends are my power. Well, Persona series is literally that, with a spice of monster collecting here and there with the personas um it is m rated so there will be topics that it's not suitable for everyone but the main focus on that franchise is the power of friendship or the power of the bonds you have in order to go to the finale so i pre really recommend the persona series if you want something like that number three the franchise I recommend is the Tales of Symphonia. Now, I played Tales of Symphonia. That's the one I started off with. It is really great. I know there's Tales of Arise. I think there's just a demo of that game. If you haven't played it, go there and check out the demo. But I recommend the Tales series because it's action RPG and you don't stick to one character. If you like one of the cast, you can just play as that character. And the combat is fun. I played Symphonia, Zillia. There's an, even an anime of Sisteria, which Sisteria is very Kingdom Hearts coded if you haven't watched the anime. I recommend it. It is made by the people who do Demon Slayer. Uh, Ufotable. There we go. It, it ended, by the way. If you don't want to buy the game or if you don't want to play the game, you can watch the show Tales of Sisteria. Uh, there's also Berseria, which they're connected. That's all I'll say about that. And, and the Rise is the newest one. But there's plenty of Tales games in the consoles and Steam. Um, but if you want 
a RPG with action in there, the Tales of series is right up your alley. The second one, yeah, the second one, the uh, second one I recommend is Xenoblade. Xenoblade is kind of turn-based, but also kind of action, where you select commands, kind of like in Final Fantasy VII Remake and Rebirth, where you choose a specific action, but you're still moving around, still attacking. Granted, uh, you don't really attack. There's not really an attack button, just attack for special attacks, the signature moves and all, all that. But you can still dodge attacks. You can still have different roles in there as well. And you can still, like in Tales of games, you can pick another character that isn't the main character. Just the ones who fit your gameplay style. So Xenoblade 1, a Nintendo game, is on Switch. Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is also on Switch. And 3 is on Switch. Xenoblade Chronicles X is stock on the Wii U, but as someone who actually owns the game, in terms of story, it's the weakest. If it eventually comes to a, a future Nintendo console, cool, awesome, whatever. But I think you're good for Xenoblade Chronicles 1, 2, and 3. I recommend 1, and from what I played, 3. 2, if you really, really are to add it. Good. Two is kind of controversial for me, but I still enjoyed it. I still finished it. But Xenoblade Chronicles is my second recommendation. Before I hit the final one, there's an honorable mention, which is a niche franchise, and that is the Ease series. And not Ease with an E-A-S-E, -E, it's an Y-S. They have around 10 games right now. The 11th one is coming. That is also action RPG by, I think it's more action RPG by the seventh onward, but the first six games are like, actually the first two games is kind of like a top down Zelda where you just, there is no attack button, but you have to get close to the enemy for it to receive a blow and then go away. And there's really great music too. And a lot of people do not mention this series. It's niche. But the action and the music is really good. Uh, the last one I played was Lacrimosa. I think it's 8. And the music's great. It's kind of anime. And also you can just pick other characters that isn't the main character. Uh, in some games. I think in the first 5, 6 games you're, you're sticking to one character. But don't quote me on that. Honorable mention? Ease with the Y, not E-A-S-E. -E. Now, the final pick for you guys to hold you over until Kingdom Hearts 4 news or Kingdom Hearts 4 drops is Final Fantasy 14. And sorry about the, the Steam thing. I forgot to turn it off. Final Fantasy 14, it has a lot and a lot. If you have never played the game before, there's a free trial up to Stormblood, which is the second expansion. My favorite is still the first expansion, and there's a lot of jobs you can pick and choose from. Uh, not at the beginning, but as you go into the game and you progress, more jobs are unlocked. I main Dark Knight and Ninja. I'm very excited for the Viper class, which dual wields. Um, mm. There's different roles for you too. You can customize your character however you want. Uh, there's a lot to do that isn't just the main mission. There's a lot of mini games. There's house building. You can even be a chef. You can be a gardener. There's a lot to do with that game. The weakest part of this MMO is the base game, which is a Realm Reborn. But I promise you, if you get through Realm Reborn, the game opens up, the quality increases drastically, and if you're playing with friends, it's a win-win. So, those are my five games I recommend for y'all, and the honorable mention, and I hope this holds you over to Kingdom Hearts 4. Because, yes, 
we are desperate for some news. We are desperate for some new information, new images, gameplay, and what now. And possible theory crafting, if we get no information. But we have to be patient, y'all. Because Square Enix and Nomura knows the criticism 3 had. And they're trying to avoid making the same mistakes. I hope they learn, but the fact that we haven't gotten anything yet feels like they're learning. I hope so. I want to believe they, they did learn. Because a lot of people fell out of Kingdom Hearts after 3. 4 looks amazing, but they really need to polish it out there. They really need to keep the original fans and trying to get some new ones with what they show the gameplay direction they're going if they're gonna stick with that from the trailer so yeah we have to be patient i hope these recommendations i gave out really help you on the wait and if i see you in final fantasy 14 if you see me say hi it basically have the same name so with that said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, night, evening, whenever you see this. And until the next video, take care.